All right, 5.37 in the afternoon. It's got to be on the Mighty 1090 tomorrow. Homecoming for San Diego State. They've got Fresno State, number 15 in the country in town. What kind of vibe and buzz will there be at Qualcomm Stadium? Here to tell us about it is San Diego State Athletic Director Jim Sterk. Mr. Sterk, good afternoon. Hi, Scott BR. How are you? And you too, Linda. Doing great, Jim. Yeah, Linda, I don't know what she's doing over there. Probably eating more right. because we have been eating nonstop this entire <laughs> afternoon, as documented on my Instagram account. Indeed. Jim, uh, tell us, usually a homecoming game should be against, like, uh, some nobody that you're going to crush. How did Fresno State get on the schedule for this game? That's a good question. It's part of a you know process with the university of looking at the dates and trying to find um, the best one for the entire university, not just for athletics. But, but it's obviously one that has a lot of attention, so it's going to be on national TV. Um, over 5,300 students have already picked up tickets, so there should be good energy in the, in the uh, stadium. And so I, I think it'll, it'll turn out to be a great one. How many more cars does Fresno State have? <laughs> you know what I mean? I know. I don't. I hope they don't have a younger brother. Right. They seem to all go there. So, yeah, let's uh, get yeah, rid of this no, one right. and, and not worry about him anymore. Yeah. Uh-huh. But, Jim, um, you say the university has to kind of figure out homecoming when it's really convenient for everybody, not just athletics. What are you talking about? Who cares about anything other than the football athletics. game? I mean, that's that's what homecoming's all about. It's the big game. Right. Everybody comes back or everybody comes to the game. and so, I mean, the whole homecoming thing, the centerpiece is the football game. It is the centerpiece. And, and obviously we have to have a home game to make it all work. But uh, and we didn't have very many of them in, in October, and, and the choices were limited. So um, it, it works out. It, it's, a, it's a great game. I know um, it helped, really helped uh, for us to have the bye week last week get a, little, uh, get a little healed up. But I'll tell you what, Rocky was in a surly mood all week. He was you know, looking at film, and, and uh, then he showed on Monday we had our, our luncheon, and he showed Fresno and, and their couple receivers that they have. It's like uh, uh, we, we have Vincent Brown and, and DeMarco Sampson on the other team. So uh, they've got some great receivers. I think our defense is better than theirs, and our, our offense at times has shown that they can really move the ball. So it should be a, a great game, and I think that you know the team that has, uh, has the least amount of turnovers will win. All right, Jim Sterk, the athletic director at San Diego State. What kind of crowd are you expecting? Um, and, and I hope that you can tell us about all the festivities so that maybe there'll be even more walk-up because, man, homecoming against the number 15 team. Got to get it a, going, a man. A conference rival. Yeah. Come on, let's get out there and support this team. Yeah, I appreciate you guys talking about it, uh, you know, actually all week long, and it, it really has picked up, and we've, uh, it, was, it was slow before, and I think over 10,000 tickets have gone out this week alone, and so it's been picking up daily. Um, I look out my window, and there's 30 students out in the line waiting to pick up their tickets, so it's, a, it's really positive. Um, right now, the team's about ready to head to the hotel, and, and uh, there's a little pep rally out there for them uh, with the band and cheerleaders and all, and so um, I, I think they'll be They'll be uh, a great excitement. Um, prior to the game, we've got um, a little carnival, um, uh, little roadies uh, coming in and, uh, and doing some things out there. I think there's a Ferris wheel and some other things out there. Uh, that starts at 3, th- 3 o'clock, and, and then um, our, our pregame usually starts around uh, two and a half hours before, and our Aztec Village is really a fun place to be. We usually have a band or cheerleaders there, and, and it's open to the public, so the carnival's free. The the tailgate's free. It's it's a fun time. Yeah, let, let, but let's let's not call it the little carnival. Let's say <laughs> we've got a big ass carnival. And man, <laughs> you guys have got to see this carnival. Man, it's crazy. Man, wait till you see the Ferris wheel. Oh They're setting up man. at the parking lot it's at Qualcomm crazy. Stadium. It's going to be nuts. Oh you got to come down and ride this thing. Right. You guys are way better sellers than me. You're yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, my. So, all right, San Diego State, Fresno State, number 15 in the country, undefeated, coming to town. Last year was a shootout. I don't remember the exact score, but it was 50-something oh. to 40-something. Yeah, yeah, 52-40, something like that. It was it was up there. And, and that's, you know, if people want an exciting game, I'll tell you, our last four games have been decided in the last minute. And we've won three of, of four of those, and it, it's – it's really, uh, I think there's a lot of uh, defibrillators that have put, been put to use out there, but I, I know our, our fans and, and everyone has, have really been glued to the sets if they're not on, in person, but um, we've, we've had some great games, so I think uh, tomorrow will be the same thing. 
All right, so this game tomorrow night, 730, is being televised nationally by ESPN. Is it two? Yes. All right, so another national television ESPN game for San Diego State football. Let me ask you this before you go. In talking to the coaching staff, is playing on ESPN making the sort of impact with potential recruits that we all assumed it would? Yeah, it's very, very positive. I I think the combination with uh, CBS Sportsnet is a a great combination, and and so I think um, it's – we're getting seen. Our Nevada game was uh, was on, um, and that was an overtime game. So those are those really really help. And this game obviously has a lot of attention on a on a national scene. So um, the if I, I know the rest of the league's probably not uh, cheering for us because if if Fresno goes undefeated and goes into the BCS uh, a BCS bowl game, it means about four hundred fifty thousand dollars per school. Uh, that we get, so um, we're 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 uh, trying to ruin the party for the rest of the league. Well, well, who who are you rooting for? Are you rooting for <laughs> Fresno State so that you guys get the money? Hey, uh, budgets are important, but not that important. Right, oh, it's way better. boy, a boy. So so hey, that win. Thanks a lot, guys. That win cost us four hundred and fifty yeah. grand. I'll have your scholarship, and I'll have your scholarship. <laughs> That's funny. No, no, it it uh, it means a lot more to that. To us than that, yes. that's for sure. I'm sure. Hey, Jim, good luck this weekend, and uh, we'll see you out there. And thanks a lot. Go All right. Thanks, Jim. guys. All right. Jim Sturt. That's great. San Diego State, Fresno State, number 15 in the country, undefeated are the Fresno State Bulldogs.